What is up YouTube, Red Zero 2 here. Many of you have already seen the Sears Killer. This is my wheel horse that is lifted. It's a B80. Before I had a 14 or a 16 horsepower Vanguard in it and now it has an 18 horsepower. It has the 28 inch Outlaws in the rear and 27 inch S Black Diamond STIs in the front. Um, I threw this thing back together finally uh, for Scenic a couple weekends ago, I think. Oh, actually about a month ago now, but I have started a rebuild series on this tractor. I uh, redid um, the, I put a locker in the rear, put a new tranny in it. I did a larger engine pulley from what was on it before, and then I swapped out tires. So we're going to go ahead and do some video of me uh, riding this thing around because, uh, it's getting torn back apart this weekend and getting redone for a second time, so. So before we go ahead and get this started, I just wanna say I hope each one of you had a wonderful holiday and a happy new year. 2020 was an awful year for multiple reasons, but it was actually quite an awesome year for the off-road mower community. And um, shooting into 2021, I would like to make 2021 even better for the mower community. So I brought back a build that has um, been on the back burner for a long time and we're going to do something crazy with it this year and hopefully it's something that's never been done before. So we can talk about the elephant in the room. There is a V-twin diesel horizontal shaft engine here. This is the first one that I've seen in the United States in person. I've seen a few in the past several years uh, on YouTube and other different sites, but I've never seen one in person. Um, we'll go back to that. This is my lifted wheel horse named the Sears Killer. This was my 2017 all-terrain lawn tractor form build off competition entry. That was a mouthful, but I ended up building this two months before the deadline for that build off and I took home first place. It had a 14 horsepower V-twin in it with a stainless steel exhaust, a slight pulley swap with 24 by nine by 10 inch uh, Super Swamper Vampires front and rear and it looked super, super clean and it worked great whenever it was done. This past year, I actually tore it back down because I thought the transaxle was in shambles Turns out it was just an idler bearing, uh, an idler pulley bearing that was squealing real bad. But what I ended up doing is I locked the transaxle and then Haspen Acres rolled around and the TTC rolled around and I just didn't have time to get this thing back up and running. Uh, right before scenic trails, this past November 14th, I was told that I had to bring this and enter it in the King of the Bog which uh, actually these 28 inch outlaws were on the rear. I had some 27 inch STIs on the front and 18 horsepower Vanguard with um, valve springs and retainers along with advancing the timing. And I now have a lock transaxle and I bumped up the engine pulley to get a little bit more speed and I ended up actually Craftsman Quad uh, Cooper, he took home first place for the King of the Bog on this tractor. really thrown back together to get it going but two three weeks before scenic so two weeks two to three weeks before scenic trails I got a message on Facebook late at night from hillbilly off-roading on YouTube super super big shout out for it to him for sharing this engine with it uh, somebody else actually found the engine in the mower community but they didn't personally send it to me um, I talked to Hillbilly Off-Roading multiple times about how I've been looking for one of these engines for several years now and I haven't been able to find one. There's a 25 horsepower version of this that is on um, eBay. 
that uh, comes from China. It's about $2,000 for one of these engines brand new and they've been out of stock for a while now. I'm not sure if they're back in stock now, but I've been debating for the last couple years to bite the bullet and buy one of these engines. Um, big shout out to him for sending this link to me. It was on Facebook Marketplace. It was all the way out in Indiana. Huge, huge shout out to Cooper uh, Craftsman Quad on All Terrain Lawn Tractor Forum, and I believe his YouTube is Cooper uh, Boom. Bo I don't, don't even know his darn last name. But um, I'll link him down in the description. You can check him out. He's been at Haspen the past uh, couple years, and uh, he's a really good friend of mine. I called up Cooper because he lives out in Indiana, and uh, he was nice enough to uh, go out. Uh, believe the engine was about an hour and a half from his house. He went out and bought the engine for me, and then, better yet, I convinced him to come meet me at Scenic Trails and deliver me the engine. So super, super big shout out to him for helping me get this engine. There was a lot of people that were had a lot of interest in this motor, but for some, some odd reason, I was lucky enough to be able to scoop this up before anyone else. Um, it's a 20 horsepower, I think it's a Poonsen, P-U-N-S-U-N, that's what's on the flywheel cover here. Now, it's a lot bigger than a Vanguard, so I might have to do some hood trimming to get it in there. But for right now, we're going to put this 20 horsepower diesel into the Wheel Horse B80 named the Sears Killer. Um, first off, I'm going to get it running, everything hooked up, make sure it works, and then later on, we're going to be turbocharging it. So I'm really hoping that this is going to be the first twin cylinder, V-twin, uh, turbo diesel mud mower on the internet. Um, this is going to be a really fun project. Uh, if you can't see back here, I have some 30 by 10 by 12 Interco Aqua Torques on the rear with uh, homemade bead locks, which I will actually be showing you guys on how to make these bead locks on your own if you really want to, because I need to make a matching set for the front. The 28 inch um, high lifter outlaws are staying on the front. And what else we're gonna do is we are going to be putting a 3,500 pound winch on the front of this thing because this motor is super, super heavy and we're going to a lot bigger tires. I plan on getting this thing sunk pretty darn bad. Um, I want to run some sort of extra lighting. I want to put some LEDs on the rear along with do some uh, almost rock lights or underglow like I had previously on here, but I did a really crappy setup on that. The other interesting thing is the Wheel Horse 520H, I believe it is, has a swept front axle, which that means is sitting on the tractor, the axle kind of goes like this towards the front. So if you're like looking above, it goes to the front. So it actually lengthens your wheelbase. And um, I was looking into getting one of those axles for this tractor to make my life easier, but um, I'm not an idiot and I'm not spending $200 on a front axle because that's the going rate for a Wheel Horse 520H swept front axle. You guys are crazy if you're spending that kind of money on a stupid front axle. So I'm going to be building my own swept axle that is going to fit my needs to get um, the wheelbase a little bit longer in the front to help with steering. I'm also going to kick it out about two inches to make it even with the rear of this and um, if I can I might actually um, stretch this in the rear one to two inches I think it looks a little bit odd where the tire and the axle sits right now so I think if I kick this rear axle back an inch or two it'll make it look a lot better also the biggest biggest thing that I'm excited about is I might try and run a completely enclosed belt drive system with the clutch so it cannot get any water or mud on it so it cannot slip and run a jack shaft through the back of this thing and drop sprockets down to the input of the trans axle because this is lifted four inches. Although I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough room for that. 
Um, another reason why I'm thinking about doing that is because this diesel is actually about three inches wider than a Vanguard. So looking at from flywheel to crankshaft mounting surface, it's about three inches wider than the Vanguard. So I'm really gonna have to kick this motor over to the left-hand side of this tractor to get it to work. Obviously this fuel tank is coming off and we're going to be either reusing my custom fuel tank that I built previously for this or I might build a new one. I'm not sure yet, we'll see. But I'm really excited about this project. So this is actually an RHB31 clone turbocharger. This is a Ching Chong Chang special. Um, I'm really worried about the how long this is going to last. I actually have a genuine IHI RHB31 turbo that I was going to use on this, but it does not have an internal wastegate. It does not have an external wastegate. So it's an ungated turbo, which means I cannot control the boost level that gets pushed into the engine. And with this being a unicorn of an engine to me, I prefer there not to be any windows inside the block to uh, or any of the internals to be outternals anymore. So that's why I went with this little, this is the smallest uh, turbo that you can get. And um, I believe it's gonna work perfect for this. I believe these turbos are a little bit too big for the uh, 10 horse single cylinder diesels just because the exhaust, eh, the exhaust pulse is not um, steady enough. It has a lot of fluctuation with the boost. I've talked to a couple people that have ran a turbo on their single cylinder diesels and they weren't that impressed with it. Uh, the boost fluctuated entirely way too much to make it um, linear or um, predictable. I'm using the wrong words, but I'm hoping with this twin cylinder, it's going to have enough exhaust pulse and enough exhaust moving through this turbo to get a consistent boost pressure. I hope you're as excited as I am for this project. I am super, super stoked to hopefully be the first person to have a 
turbocharged V-twin diesel and a mud mower, along with having some massive 30s on the back and some 28s on the front. But hopefully you guys stick around for this project. I'm very excited to see how it turns out. And I um, have a lot more ideas for this tractor other than just throwing a turbocharged diesel in it further on down the line. Um, if you want, go follow my Facebook page. It's Red Zero Two. Um, I'll link it down in the description. I'm probably going to be posting up a lot more pictures on Facebook of the tractor uh, as a as I build along alongside the videos. So if you want to see all those pictures, make sure you go follow me there.